This is like a carry-on suitcase. We yeah. call it a cassette. And you can wheel it into any Toilet in America. Yeah. That's the septic really... tank. This is a no, zip. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there you go. Just do that. You can almost decorate that as luggage. <laughs> carry-on? Oh. Doesn't it feel like you're in Europe right now? <laughs> Is that a trash can? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Also, you can just, whether you're outside or inside, you just... Oh, that's Ooh. a good thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Solid white. I love it. Definitely the Euro style, which is just beautiful. They do it right. This is like 17 and a half feet. It's about the size of a Honda Odyssey, as far as the length. And these are, what, push button lock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not locked right now. Let's see what's in here. This is really nice. It has a full bath in here. Wow. <laughs> You've got a vanity, a medicine cabinet, and if you notice, the curtain comes all the way around. So while it is a wet shower, <laughs> you can keep your uh, vanity and, and toilet dry while you're in the shower. Okay. Oh, because it like goes, it all, goes all, all the way around. Yeah, all the way around. Yeah, so you get this all the way around you. Yeah. That you can comfortably sit six people. Right, so we're sitting here. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, this is One, two, did. three, four, and then both the driver and the passenger seat swivel around. No, this is a great, like, together space, like, especially as a yeah. family. Like, we could all sit here together and eat. No, it's awesome. I love it. Let's say you want to do some work yeah. from yeah. your comfortable chair. Oh. Sometimes, yeah. This swivels around, okay. and then that actually can come up a little bit. Put your laptop here. It okay. can work. And it does, as an additional add-on option, there yeah, is a there can be a TV here. Okay. Co comes out, okay. and then flip this up. And now that's where the legs will go. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So, air conditioning and heat. Okay. Air AC and heat. Dramatic, fresh AC and heat here. Appliance in the ceiling. Radiant heat in the floor. So you've got. Yeah. I love that. This window here. Yeah. It's like it a finesse thing. move. It's really cool too. And I'll show you guys. All of the windows have screens and blackout. So here's the blackout. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to pull down the screen, unlock it. That was like a magic Boom. trick. <laughs> I have my hat. Magic. Yeah. And so all the windows I have love that. It. So let's say middle of the day, you want to take a nap. You could put blackouts on even on the um, windshield and on the passenger and driver side windows. Here are the blackouts. Okay. On every single oh, one. they're wow. built in. Ooh. Boom! Yeah. It goes all the way up. Yeah. So it really and it really gets like pitch black, and if you put them all up. <laughs> oh, you do. It is pitch black. I, I wasn't man enough. Uh -huh. Wow. And both those also have screens and blackouts. Uh -huh. Oh wow. This is actually really comfortable. I'm really picky too. Boom. Oh. Oh, it like does it itself pretty much. Isn't that yeah. easy? Second bed. So this goes down like this. And then there's a cushion that goes on top here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so you would have wow. a second bed for easily two children and one adult. Oh. Oh. Up. Oh. So that's actually a closet space. That's really large. You have two closets on the top and the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's a really large space. All right, so we've made our way to the Grand Design area, and one of the exciting things that is, this is still not officially out, but it is up and coming. Check out that Jeep too, man. <laughs> now a lot of you know we're, we're big on solar and lithium. This is the trend we're starting to see. Companies are catching up with wanting to let people get off grid more often, and really almost to the point where you don't even have to think about it. Uh, so this company Volta has built a beefed up, I'm just gonna say beefed up, I'm gonna put the specs on the screen here, <laughs> everything that's going on. Like you can run anything you want, whenever you want, and this toy hauler they're outfitting it with, this momentum. And here's the system right here. Oh, uh, look at this one. Here. Look at that. That's oh my goodness. That's where all the extra off header goes in. <laughs> power your hometown power is what oh, that's, that's insane. <laughs> I feel like we're buying these new RVs and then we're having to turn around and redo the wiring to get the solar in it. So I love that they're paying attention and saying, okay, they want to go out and do things with these. And so I'm excited that, I mean, it's going to be so plug and play like that. That's awesome. Wow. So you walk in the back of the toy hauler. It's ready to go, man. You can just charge your toys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new as well for this model that's coming out. Yeah. R40 in the garage. <laughs> if those numbers don't mean anything to you, that is a crazy amount. That's like more insulation in the garage than a lot of times what you see like in the main walls in an RV. So new for 2022, we got the 280 RK. The RK stands for rear kitchen. That's a workout space right there. That yes. is a lot of space. <laughs> 
actually like you know when it's offset like that and it does give you this mm -hmm. really large living area i do think it's such a large open space i feel like you could have had maybe like a flip up or something right here to expand i mean you might as well but this is a lot of counter space look how deep the counter yeah, space is. is too yeah. even on on this section over yeah. here which i know in our rig it's much narrower but mm -hmm. yeah you've got really deep counter space here oh Oh, wow, this feels definitely like a master suite because you got these dual openings from the master to the bath. Like, get this view because this definitely makes it feel. This is a huge like a master look suite. At this sink. It looks kind of weird having a small sink right there, but you don't need. I mean, I've heard people say they want the large sinks, but I think once you actually get in here, I would definitely take the counter space over the large sink. So in 32 feet, you get this amazing layout. You don't feel like you're missing any space very spacious for 32 and a half feet i'm a fan of the light coming out of these windows that's nice what? washer dryer let's find see it? hide and seek do they have it they might not in 32 feet it's a solitude check this out there they are <laughs> now that is nifty i just see me like using this to fold laundry and stuff oh yeah too. and so you yeah. have this really large counter space So now as far as what's new for 2022, what we're starting to see is a lot of brands like really want to get in touch and connect and just hear from their customers, from you guys, from us. And one of those companies that we feel is doing a great job of that is Libert. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> it looks it's like it's so cute. <laughs> hello there. Well, hello there. <laughs> now, this is Ryan and T. Hi. So we created these online communities, uh, Lippert Scouts community if you're on Facebook, check you it out. right over there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one way that we really enjoy and get a lot of feedback. Tell us what's going on, like what's going well for you, what's not going well. That's why we built our space the if way we have. If you need to bring your dogs to the booth, yeah. I will hold them for sure. you. <laughs> and so you may or may not know, but Lippert is actually already, if you have an RV, it's already in your RV almost for sure. Like, yeah, what we make. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is good. That's yes, from the ground up. They're all over the RV. So when you think of Lippert, maybe you knew this or maybe you didn't, you think of what's in the RV. But what they're doing now is expanding outside of the RV as well. Camping chairs, uh, tables, patio mats, pet accessories, all that kind of stuff that really, yeah, just enhances your whole camping experience. <laughs> 42 v13 okay this is super fun we love windows and being outside and so this one actually caught our eye because it has two porches they've got a door huh. leading out onto the deck here and then you can access it from the bunk room as well i say bunk room garage <laughs> the garage bunker i actually would make this my master and have the porch <laughs> you could have two porches we could have two porches in our bedroom how cool is that all right so this is the 390 mp this is their version of the mid bunk probably competitive with the 378 i would assume maybe yes we've got yeah yeah it's really large it is this one's got to be longer than ours so differences. It's gonna be some extra pantry space here. So that's really nice. I mean, I'm loving the the lighter cabinets. They did a mixture. They have a mixture of light and dark. Yeah, yeah. Um, the handles are really nice too. They went like a, a goldish color. I like that. Oh wow, that's way different there. Aww. Yeah, definitely not as much room space and flexibility because there's not a slide on this. But this is definitely set up if you're looking for an office feels screaming office man cave right which a lot of people choose mid bunks one for families which is what we have done or two people love mid bunks for a dedicated office space yeah that seems like a smaller which her bed is massive so that's <laughs> not yeah it's overall shorter amount of space for the mid bunk area that's not no complaints on the top area it's just yeah. you lose it in the room down below look at this <gasps> oh nice Nice. That is a nice it's really shower. really pretty. I love it. Nailed uh -huh. it on the shower. Master, as far as layout, similar to ours, uh, the slide 
definitely is not going as deep as ours. And so your amount of floor space right here is way less than ours. It's kind of crazy the amount of floor space we have. Yeah, we do have a lot of floor space, but this is really cozy. It's nice. I like this bench right here, actually. Pros and cons. Overall, I think I like the way ours is better because the washer dryer opens this way. If you imagine your washer dryer is going to be in here, the doors still have to open this way. And so you kind of lost a lot of this space to store things. All right, so this is the Alliance Avenue 36 BR, <laughs> BRM. Oh my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I absolutely love it. We're thinking of phase two in our RV, like literally, you know what I'm thinking, right? So you're looking at the wood. This is what it would look like if we did white cabinets. I'm like really speechless right now. It's so beautiful. Like, I really love it. And the natural wood is yes. accenting it. Oh, man, it's so pretty. Now, they do have a slightly darker floor than ours, too, though. So That's true. And the walls aren't 100% white. So it's like, I would know. it be too light in ours? But I actually like when the floors are a little bit darker and the cabinets yeah. are lighter yep. because... In a camper, you were tracking in so much from the elements outside. As much as we sweep and take our shoes off, and it it just happens. I even love like the 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 gold touch. That's so nice. The natural wood tones with the white. Oh man, it's just incredible. I gotta see what's going on back here. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Oh. Those are. There's a whole nother bathroom back here. What? Or a half like a, bath. Half bath. This is incredible. Oh, wow, yeah. Huh. I love this. So not a lot of floor space with the kids. But if your kids are good with... And those are very large beds, though. Yes. Oh, man. I wonder what the choice... I wonder if there's some storage underneath to justify... Because I would have given more... These are large. They are. I would almost give them more floor space and made these smaller. This is gorgeous. Uh, all right. I need to see up here. I need to go. All right, all right, go, go. <laughs> This is so pretty. You really do. You like this decor a lot. Well, look, they didn't, no fancy headboard. I mean, it's really no. sleek. Um, no, I really love the decor. It's so simple, but beautiful, but natural, but airy, like everything I want. Like, I really like it. So because they use this sliding barn door here, mm -hmm. Like, look at all this yeah, hallway no, space agree. here. I so agree. it feels so open. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, if you wanted to close that off. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'll put specs on the screen. Don't quote me. I'm pretty sure they're building the new Avenue stuff to accommodate more trucks than your standard full profile stuff. Check in the back to see what. So this is in the back. That's part of the elevation. Okay. Yeah, they've got this storage in the back, which is why they went the route of having the beds. You want more storage outside, then that's a great layout. If you want more floor space in the inside, then you know, you're, we'd probably rather not have the beds be elevated like that. It's 3603 LFP. <laughs> so this one caught my eye even from outside. I was like, I want to come in and look at this white in here, the white cabinets. But then we discovered this is a really cool layout. Look how large this island is. That's a really large this island. This is, they did a fantastic, they, they keep they, they keep stepping it up with these, man. I mean, it feels super fancy in here. It does not feel like an RV, super fancy. This bunk room, especially if you have older children, who would kid? This fits anybody, I love it. <laughs> Look how cozy this is. That's really large bed and loft. And you got a half bath back here. I mean, this is super cool. Did we check this out? What's this? Oh, it's, oh wow. Holy moly. Store a lot of taco supplies. <laughs> okay. This feels so residential. I don't think I've ever seen a bathroom this like long before. How'd they do this? I don't know. My mom. This is awesome. Like, this is so cool. I mean, this bathroom is massive. I'm loving this bathroom. I was thinking they took the space out of the bedroom, but the bedroom still feels really large and roomy. All right, they nailed it. This is cool. All right, Springdale SG335BH. Now this is a little bit selfish. 
<laughs> because we're thinking about doing phase two in our RV. We were walking by and we actually saw this. And yeah, from the outside, we saw the black cabinets and Marissa's like, oh, maybe. I was like, I have to go see what it looks like with these black cabinets. I've never seen that done especially factory in an RV, but I love that black. It caught my eye. My wheels are turning. I thought I was gonna do white, but I don't know, the black looks really good. Yeah, they got the gold handle yeah, accents, like yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what's new for 2022 is heading in the new interior direction. And I love that, I mean, they're changing things up. They're heading towards this modern decor. And <laughs> it seems like my old camper. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm here with, uh, say hi, Hensley. Hi. <laughs> this is my new tour sidekick for this RV. The bathroom is huge. <laughs> <laughs> it is huge, isn't it? <laughs> it's literally wow. family in the shower. <laughs> this is gorgeous. So a lot of you may know, but we lived in an Airstream for over three years in the 30 foot version. But this one's just otherworldly. I mean, look. You got, the, you got the pull down screen over here. Look at the seating area, the viewing area. Yeah, that's the screen. Look, look behind you. To project. Oh my. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yes. <laughs> well, and, they've, and this doubles. You see how people, you can work from here if you need to. This sort of comes out. You got a workspace there. Well, look at all this counter space and this layout. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But what's really new about this for this year is the decor. You'll notice the cabinets are white. Like that's all new going the lighter colors, which really makes it even bigger. This is already feels large for an Airstream, but it really just feels super awesome. Yeah, we got the pull out. That's really nice for a pantry, isn't it? So here's, here's the bedroom, the bedroom up, up front. front. I don't know if this is new or not. I can't remember, but this definitely has the bed. So this bed's on a, a motor, Hensley, and it, when you want it up, you bend it up like that, which is good for viewing and sitting and enjoying you know, TV or maybe breakfast in bed or whatever. And then if you want it all the way flat, you can motorize it down and it'll come out, I'm assuming, to close to where the door's at. So you're kind of the best of both worlds with it. So just across the way, we got the Flying Cloud 30 office. So this will look familiar to some of you guys, but they've got a nice twist on this one with the layout. <laughs> and look at these cabinets, that's slick. I'm loving the decor on this. Ooh. Marissa will be loving this. She's keeping an eye on JJ's. Look, that's what's new, Hensley, in this one. So a lot of you, especially families, fans of the 30 Cloud bunk model. But usually you've got the bunks in the back, but in this one, you've got an office in the back. That is legit office space. Check that out. Wow. <laughs> I wish there was a bed. Well, hey, here's the good news. I about guarantee it, because um, you can see all the cushions stacked up right here. This makes some sort of a bed space. It's amazing what they fit into these small spaces. It's a 27 FBQ. Yes. Love these additions. I know they have an Eddie Bauer edition and stuff too that has this back that flips open in the back. But look what they're doing too. They're thinking office space on a lot of these new ones, which is convertible. People can eat here too if they want to. Very, very versatile layout for a couple. This is one of the things Marissa's gonna miss most not being able to see this here. But So here's the Pottery Barn Edition Airstream. This thing is tough to find, it's tough to get into, it's tough to show, but we, we're gonna show it to you guys. It's epic. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so warm. You feel like the... <laughs> Look at her face. It's just like warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this corner L-shaped couch I've got going on, which I'm sure converts into a bed. Look how comfortable that is, Hensley. Wow. I almost don't want to be this. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Oh, cute. Isn't it cute? Doesn't that make you just want to go to the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. so cute. Oh, this is great. Oh my goodness. So you may or may not have heard of a company called Intech, but I almost guarantee you have seen their trailers on the road because this is the front. They're one of our favorite, like down the road, wow, eye-catching layouts or bodies that we've seen going down the road or in campgrounds. So this one's been around the sole. There's a few different sizes on this and you've got your Luna over here. But new for this year 
which we're excited about because I think it's starting to get to where maybe you can get a family in there. <laughs> but if nothing else, as a couple, you can stretch your legs a little more if you want to. Their new line for this year is the Terra. Terra Oasis, show price 68K. And you'll see real quick, this, this is the money. Come here, Hensley, stand over here. This is what we call the money shot, Hensley. <laughs> Look at those windows. It's always the thing like how do you be outside when you can't be outside or when you're eating or when it's a rainy day or just you just you just want some light. This look at all these windows Hensley. Travel trailer wise you're not going to get these wrap around windows on much of anything uh, other than like this and Airstream at least from what we've seen. Oh it's already sold Hensley. <laughs> I bet they sold this thing fast. I know. Well, did you I want really this? I really want one. <laughs> no I bet you do. We can use so show them that here's the bathroom. You got a split bath. What, you know what split bath means? No. That means the toilet's on one side and the shower's on the other, which is really good for people like Daddy. Would you like to have a separate spot? Yeah, away so from I can take a shower and you go to the bathroom. Yes, that's right. That's a good size shower for this rig, though. We can go on a trip just me and you in this. <laughs> we could. I mean, still a lot of windows in the bedroom. I like what they've done. I mean, they're not deep cabinets, but you've got a lot of cabinets around the top up here. But if you're looking at something like 25, 30 feet Airstream, you know, price-wise, I'm guessing this is what, 68? I mean, you're looking at maybe half the price or at least 40% less on this than the Airstream. And there's some pros and cons. You don't, you know, you're not gonna get the nostalgia of the Airstream, the look of the Airstream, and some of the other things with the Airstream, but there's a lot of pros with this brand as well. Also something uh, you're definitely not seeing on the Airstream, you're getting like this outdoor kitchen. That is a nice outdoor kitchen for a trailer this size. <laughs> Yeah, this was plugged in different than everything else. Why do you think that is? It's electric. Yes, it's electric powered. Now we've had other prototypes of this in the past. I think in 2018, Winnebago even had another version of this. So, and this is not out. This is not ready to buy, but it is getting closer. So this is a prototype. It's not for sale. They are still working to get the amount of mileage. This can go up to 200. I think it's at 125 right now, but they're talking like within the next year, they're hoping to get that up where it needs to be. I get it. A lot of you guys are full-timers dreaming of being full-time, but I think this, if nothing else new for this year is that these industries do have on their radar this kind of technology. So Hensley is gonna show this. This is a prototype. This is from their Echo Line, it's so a 22A. What do you think is really awesome about this one? Pop top. Pop top. <laughs> Look at that. The pop top stuff never gets old. Like it just, raise it when you want. Don't raise it when you don't. Fall in the weather, it's not a big deal. Is that a lot of room? Do you wanna go up there? Go on. Wow, that's a lot of room, Hensley. Look at all that room. I want on this camper. You like that? Look, you got the view up there. Is that where you would sleep? Mm -hmm. I almost don't want to leave. You almost don't want to leave. You're saying a lot of the same stuff as your mom. It's very spacious. Look at this. Oh, I like this layout, man. I love this. I really do. 23 feet. And because a lot of them 23 feet, you can sleep a family four, but they're going to have the sleeping area up front, which would take this away or not be as easy to step up and down. It just doesn't feel as roomy with that there either. So you're getting very spacious sleeping for four in this in 23 feet. Wow. Wet bath. So really cool, this Echo Line 2. Seems like most of them have this massive, again, this is 23 feet. Look at this storage area back here, Hensley. I said you could sleep four. It looks like we could sleep five or six kids, right? Would you sleep back here? How about you sleep back here? Mommy and Daddy can go up top. You know. <laughs> so Heartland Cyclone 4014C. This is new for 2022, and this thing looks, this looks massive. Let's check it out. Well, I like what they've done here. You don't see this as much in these toy haulers for some reason. Like this loft area is accessible and sealed off in the back. They have the, yeah, they have the loft, but usually you access it from this side. Uh, so it's sort of open to everything. And you still, look at this, there's a whole, there's a whole other loft area right here. It's tiny, but I mean, JJ would love that. There's like lofts and sleeping areas everywhere in this thing. <laughs> sleeping area here, more sleeping up here, the rear deck like usual. This thing is massive, Hensley. What's behind this door over here? It's like a surprise behind every turn. What's in there? Yeah. Whoa, it's a full bath. And there's the sink right sink here. Sink out there, which makes sense. I like that. I don't see the specs. I think this is like 46 feet something inch like it's it's almost 47 feet it's big oh happy birthday joanna this is nice the core is good I like the lighter cabinets so up front jack and jill entry i like they're going to this more you got the bed that rotates up to give you more floor space Yay. if you want it i'm sure the washer dryer is going to be Yay. in here it is 
want to buy this camper. Hensley, we can't buy all the campers. <laughs> when you're touring with the kids, they're like, we want that one. No, we want that one. Ooh, this is cool. I like that. That's, that's it. That's all you do. Just a little flip up. Additional counter space, boom. So if you enjoyed this video, we created a playlist with five videos from the Tampa RV show that we filmed. Everything from Airstreams to family-friendly rigs to a $2.3 million RV. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.